regard to this text message and what the president's son was alleging. Was the president there or not? I would refer you to my colleagues at the White House Counsel. They have addressed this, and I refer you to them. Go ahead. Karine, have you spoken to the president about this? Have you asked him whether he was there with his son on July 30th? This is not a conversation that I've had with the president. Again, I would refer you to the White House counsel. Do you plan to have that conversation no. with the president? No. Did the president speak with the attorney general at all? I can I, I, I cannot say uh, if the president uh, had had a conversation with the attorney general last night. What I can refer you to is the White House Counsel's Office as it relates to the uh, allegations. Uh, they have already addressed this. This is something for them to deal with. I refer you to the Department of Justice on anything else if you don't want to speak to the White House Counsel's Office. And there was reporting earlier in the week that after the plea agreement was reached by Hunter Biden that the president felt relieved that that part of it was behind him. Is that true? Can you say I can't to speak to that. I cannot speak to the president's mindset. Again, I would refer you to the White House Counsel's Office. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.